as a civil society, we are impressed. And this is what we wish to see, supposed to be before three years. Though it's been delay, is better than never. And I'd like to take this opportunity, Your Excellency President, if at the presidency level, or the Council of Ministers, or in the Parliament, there's a question of what is meant by political will, this is the political will that we have been demanding for a long time. We have been saying, please demonstrate your political will and your political commitment for transitioning our country from violence to peace. This is what we call a political will and a political commitment and primary responsibility to implement the revitalized agreement on the resolution of conflict in South Sudan. Your Excellency, allow me to raise this concern. These are good uniform, good soldiers. If we add good money to their pockets, a non-gunman will disappear in South Sudan. Intercommunal violence will stop if we pay them the good salary. But my message to you soldiers, behind me are political leaders. When you took your oath, your allegiance is to the Republic of South Sudan. I'm taking responsibility to communicate to you that from today, you are not for Woye, you are not for Viva, you are not for Take a Boom. You are for the constitution of the Republic of South Sudan. Take responsibility and show us that. And we want to make sure when politicians want to run to Bush or they want to jump into the river or they want to fly to the air, don't follow them with this uniform. This uniform is for the nation. This uniform is not for tribe. This uniform is not for politicians. This uniform is to protect the flag we see up there. Never ever be allow yourself to be messed up by politicians. If they disagree, parliament is there as a house for them to reach consensus or council of ministers. If they don't want, let them come join us in the farming. We welcome them to farm for our food security. I have no much to say. I would like to take this opportunity by saying, as a civil society, we need to be engaged. We are stakeholders in this country. One day, one time, we will also be leaders of this country. We better interact. I have no much to say. I would like to say, as a unified force, go out there, clear unknown gunmen. I'm quite sure some of them are around. When they see you now, they say our business is done. No way out because you are ready to protect the citizen. We demand from you, you must take responsibility to offer us as individuals, as a communities, safety and security. Finally, Your Excellency President of the Sudan, as a chairperson of EGAD, we are asking EGAD to demonstrate social responsibility. We need more transformation with these forces. It's your absolute responsibility as a son of the continent of EGAD, EGAD must show its responsibility that they are standing with us as people of South Sudan. I have not much to say. I would like to say, President, the political will you have demonstrated, political commitment you have demonstrated. Let God bless South Sudan under your leadership. Thank you.